It's the host Brown Bears taking on the Holy Cross Crusaders out of the Patriot League. Occasion as well. And there's a weak ground ball right to the shortstop, scooped up by Boree. Throws it across the diamond just in time for the out. Young players for Holy Cross. Here's a weak ground ball to third base. Scooped up by Crawford, throws across to Mara for the third out of the inning. Three up, three down for Bielenson. And we'll play four and a half here in Providence. Score Brown three, Holy Cross nothing. So Toby Bielenson on for his third inning of work, looking pretty good here today as he throws the first one in, the breaking ball, the off-speed pitch for a strike. And the 1-2 delivery here is swung on and grounded to second base. Rapoli scoops it up on to first base for the third out of the inning. Once again, three up, three down for Bielenson and the Bears. And he's looking pretty good out there, too, as he gets first pitch swing. Rapoli scoops it up at second, fires to first for the first out of the inning. Nothing better than that when you're a pitcher, right? Oh, One yeah. pitch out. Yeah, Bobby had a couple quick pit, quick uh, outs in the first two innings as well. You're right. As you mentioned, a very fast-moving game. You know, Olsen will probably go two, and then we'll have a lot of one-inning guys. Hasn't worked out that way. Olsen gave you three, and now Bielenson working his fourth inning. Yeah. So Myers working his first inning after Bielenson does a nice job, 40 pitches in four innings of shutout baseball, and the first pitch in there for a strike. For the Crusaders. And nice breaking ball there for strike three. Good job there by Myers. So one up, one down here in the eighth for Holy Cross. And that'll bring up Andrew Winnie, the catcher. Catcher number 25. Was that a tight slider there? Yeah, that was definitely his slider, I think. Exactly up and down. And there's a slider again. Boy, tough to lay off. That one was a good pitch and hard to lay off of. Probably a fastball here. Oh, Ooh, he got him slider again. again. Three sliders in a row, and he gets in the bite on the third one. So Myers strikes out the side in the eighth inning. And after seven and a half here in Providence, Brown three, Holy Cross nothing. King 0 for 2, grounded out to short in the third. The 0 1 pitch swung on and missed. Falls behind 0 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. And that time, I don't think he could check the swing. He did go. Strike three. And Jones steps into the batter's box. And he takes a breaking ball for a called first strike. One and two, the count to Sean Scanlon. The pitch from Seppings, the breaking ball in there, called strike three, and the Bears win it three to nothing. Over Holy Cross, they have a combined no-hitter. Four pitchers, Olsen, Bielens, and Myers, and Seppings combined to no-hit Holy Cross as the Bears win this one three to nothing here in Providence today. And what a great day offensively it was at the plate for Rapoli, four for four at the dish. But it was the Bears pitching staff that really got the job done on what was to be a bullpen game for the Brown Bears. All of their arms coming through in a big way.